Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Two Royal Malaysian Air Force pilots were killed after their piloters PC-7 crashed at the Langkawi International Airport and burst into flames. The tragedy occurred at about 12.30 p.m. when Major Mohamad Razaini Mohamad Mustafa and Major Mohamad Zulkifli Hassan were making a landing at the airport. Langkawi's Persiaran Putra Fire Station Chief Yaakob Hassan says he was informed that the plane flew from the Sultan Abdul Halim Airport in Kapalabatas and crashed in an open area 90 metres from the tarmac before catching fire. The coroner's court has postponed the inquest into the death of political aide Theo Beng Hock to September 17th. This is to allow time for lawyers representing the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission to prepare their cross-examination of a witness who has alleged that he was tortured by MACC officers. Coroner Azmi Mustafa Abbas granted the request by Dato Abdul Raza Mas Musa, who is holding a watching brief for the MACC. A disabled 19-year-old male from Garik Pera has died from influenza A H1N1, bringing the death toll to 74. The death also ended seven continuous days of zero fatality from the disease. Health Director General Tan Sri Dr. Mohammad Ismail American says the latest victim died on August 23rd due to lung complication with underlying influenza A H1N1 infection. Meanwhile, 198 new patients with influenza-like symptoms have been admitted to hospital for treatment while 190 have been discharged. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.